The new Destiny update is out while I was sleeping at 2am and I was baited into researching all of the new changes by some of my guildies and friends so thank them for that. That said, I did the googling so you didn't have to. Here is a summary of the update. Anticipate these changes to take effect for GMS in 6 months since that's usually the delay for patches from KMS to GMS. Starting December 30th in KMS, there will be a new quality of life change in the VOM VOM project, which basically stands for Voice of Maplers. And essentially, here is a summary note. New players will receive various bonuses to help them level, such as a 90 day pet, power elixirs, teleport rock, mastery books, growth potions, and slot expansion coupons. Pre quests can now be skipped for various bosses, such as Guardian Angel Slime, Magnus, and Cygnus, if you have completed them on another character, though. Arcane River quests can also be skipped in a similar manner, so th this will be essentially very helpful for those of you who have various mains and mules that you want to get beyond level 200. Black Mage Practice Mode will now be added. Now we don't have to waste 50 sparks every time we enter Black Mage, and uh, the newer players will never understand how hard we had it to liberate back in the good old days when we had to spend 10 bill on sparks. Verse Hella Labyrinth will also be removed. Fifth job advancements will be simplified for even faster job advancements. Link skills and keybind presets have also been added. I'm really excited for this link skill preset because switching from training mode to bossing mode was always annoying. So there's a very good quality of life change. Cooldowns now show in a more readable manner in quick slot with the bigger numbers counting down once it reaches below the one minute mark. New and improved maple guide has also been added so now you can basically teleport to certain areas more easily. That's basically the TLDR of it. There are three new boss difficulties. Easy Will, Normal Verse Hella, and Normal Saren. We'll also get the new Daybreak boss accessory set which is a new accessory set with new set effects. The pendant will drop from Hella and Saren. The face accessory will drop from Lucid and Will. I believe the face accessory will and probably be transposed into Sweetwater, so similar to a Pat Mark transposing into a Monaco type of thing, which kind of sucks for the older players in GMS because they won't be able to transpose unless you just get a Berserk or a eye patch. The earrings will drop from Gloom and Dark No. I don't think the accessory set will replace Superior Golux because it's very hard to replace Superior Golux scrolls and it's just very broken. So I don't think that will affect us too much. Lastly, the slime ring will drop from Guardian Angel Slime, which we already have, but it will just be put into another set instead of the current boss set. The set effect is shown here. Now, I don't know the meta for this new thing, new set effect yet, so don't ask me. Maybe you guys can find out and let me know. Now, on January 27th in KMS, Adventures will be revamped and rebalanced. I won't cover that too much here because it's way too much to talk about, but feel free to watch the video that KMS posted on this. February 2022 will end CRAs and maybe even the arcane sets for most Giga Whales. Because a new set is coming, it currently is translated to be the Eternal Equipment set. All of the equips in this set are level 250, which means that Star Force price will be out of this world. There will be a top, bottom, hat, glove, and so on. The set effect is crazy good. This is not a comprehensive list and summary, and it may not be 100% correct, but I'm pretty sure for the most of it, it's correct. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this information helpful. I'll see you all next video.